Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Hooked Up Wisconsin. I'm Caleb Wisted, and I do a lot of fillet tutorials on this channel, but I haven't done one for the very beginner until now. So this tutorial is going to be for somebody who maybe has just caught the first fish that they actually want to fillet, or maybe you've tried a couple and it hasn't gone so well. This will teach you how to fillet a fish. And when I say a fish, this is the standard type of fish like a walleye, a bass, a perch, a crappie, a bluegill. You can fillet any of them using this method. There's some other fish out there like pike and catfish. I got lots of other tutorials on those as well. But this will get you most of the way on many different species of fish. So let's get started. I got a 17 inch walleye, which is a perfect fish to start on if you've never filleted fish before. It's big enough that you got some meat to work with and it's a little bit forgiving and it's super easy to clean. So let's get started with that right now and you can learn to fillet your first fish. All right guys, I've got about a 17 inch walleye here and this is the perfect size for a lot of guys to keep and it's a very common size to catch and it's a very common fish to catch so uh, this is a great fish to learn on. So what I'm gonna use for this fillet technique is just a seven inch semi-flexible fillet knife. This is a Bubba seven inch tapered flex. You want a little bit of flex in that blade so it can work around the curves um, and you want a fairly thin taper on it so you can make corners and um, it's a, just a very typical fillet knife of this size like a seven inch blade very common and this one is a great one I'll leave a link in the description I've been really happy with this one but you can certainly use any other fillet knife that's designed for this purpose so what we're gonna do here to start is we're going to find the fish's pectoral fin which is right here and we're going to angle our knife just behind that pectoral fin right here towards the head right here at this angle because there's a little bit of meat up in here that we want to catch but we don't want to get into this fin right here so right at this angle so basically right behind this fin this fin and then behind the what's called the calithrum bone right here we're going to make that cut and you kind of have to cut a little bit harder at first to get through the scales. And we're just going to cut straight down until you hit a bone. That is the backbone right there. And you can see, actually see it, it's right here. That's the backbone. You're going to stop when you reach the backbone. Okay, so that's our first cut. Now our second cut is actually going to be to make an incision along the top edge of this dorsal fin here and this one here. So I'm not going to go all the way through to do this because we're going to run into the rib cage right in here. So we're only going to go in about an inch and a half. And we're just going to make short little strokes as we cut along here. And I like to get my thumb into that incision and just kind of pull it apart as I go behind my knife blade. Just short little strokes, like I say, about an inch and a half long. And once we get to basically where you see the anal opening there, at that point then we can make a push all the way through and pop out right here and now we're past that rib cage so we don't have to worry about that anymore and we can simply saw our way right through now I prefer to cut all the way through the skin at the tail right here some people leave it attached for skinning but I prefer to just slice right through so now we've taken off the whole entire tail section now we're gonna work our way back towards the rib cage starting where we left off here we're gonna lift with our left thumb and just cut forwards until we feel a bone and you can feel that bone right there that's the first rib and the ribs lay like this and they kind of come out and away from the fish backbone so we're gonna have to continue to cut and you can hear the knife ticking along those ribs right there hear that so that's the base of the ribs where they attach to the spine all the way down here now what we're gonna do is as we peel this away with our hand with our left hand we're going to start slicing up along these ribs and you're going to have to cut through a little row of bones there called pin bones and they're actually attached to the top of the ribs they're easy to cut through they're fairly small and now we're just going to cut over the top of those ribs and once we get over the top which is about right where we cut through those pin bones we're going to start angling the knife back down again to follow those ribs down like so and now 
we've gotten past the edge of the ribs which are right here so these ribs now have basically no meat left on them they're just bones and all of the fillet is right here so we simply now have to just cut off right at the belly there like that and there is fillet number one with the skin still attached on this side and that's how we remove the fillet from the carcass now I'm going to squeegee my table off this is a handy little trick if you've got a, a table you can do this with keep it nice and clean and now we're going to skin this fillet now as you can see when I skin a fillet I like to move it to the edge of the table because then I can drop my knife down below the edge of the table and keep it nice and flat and I'm just going to cut just ahead of a little flap of skin or uh, meat here that I can actually put my finger on to hold this down and I'm just going to angle my knife and then I'm going to flip it flat and basically semi parallel with the the table top but at a slight downward angle maybe 20 degrees and I'm just going to make slight cutting motions as I hold the skin and I'm going to move my hand forward to grip the skin with every few inches that I move the knife and that just helps stabilize that skin keep cutting all the way through and now there's your skin that's completely removed from the fillet now and here's one piece walleye fillet that still has one row of bones left in it and they're called the pin bones and we're going to remove those by laying the fillet flat kind of facing us and we're going to feel with our hand right along here where those ribs were you can feel those bones right in there it's basically right where the lateral line travels down the center of the fish we're just going to make a cut on each side of that just on each side of that row of bones one on this side like so all the way down to the table and they stop right about where we pushed the knife through and finished out the tail is about where they end so you don't want to you don't have to cut all the way down just about to that that anal opening and now we're going to cut on this side like so and now the, all those bones are right in this little center part we can just cut that out and that's the pin bones and now you have a completely boneless walleye fillet in one piece and you like I said you can do this with bass you can do this with bluegills um, many many species of fish you can fillet this way and if I'm gonna fry this up I oftentimes will just cut it right here make it a little more, bit more manageable in the frying pan two nice pieces of boneless meat there so let's repeat it on the other side now and what I like to do when I cut the other side is I like to put face the head the other direction just kind of how I prefer to do it not everybody does it that way but it kind of makes it easier to duplicate the motions and we're gonna make that first cut again just like so till we hit the backbone I'm gonna move through this a little bit quicker this time we're gonna make our little cut up here above the ribs I'm gonna poke pop through here now all the way through the tail now we come back here cut till we hit that first rib now I'm gonna come back here cut down until I hear those ribs ticking I'm gonna pull up with my left thumb as we go over the top now here's those pin bones I got to cut through right there you can feel them now we're going back down following those ribs down All right, just like that now we can cut off this belly meat here there we go we can toss this carcass squeegee the table again now we move to the edge of the table to skin it grip it with that that finger right there 20 degree angle to the table and just keep grabbing that skin as you slice forward and skin is removed now the only thing left again is the pin bones which are right here I'm gonna cut on this side of them like that cut on this side of them like that slice it out 
and there we have our walleye fillet simple as that guys that's it that's how you fillet a fish well there you have it guys pretty easy you can now fillet your first fish and feel confident that you're doing it correctly and there's a few other tutorials I have out there so make sure you check out those videos subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to learn how to fillet just about anything just about any way this is the channel for you so uh, I'll leave another video right here thanks for, again for watching guys we'll catch you later get hooked up